Okay. So, in the previous video, we calculated the solution using quadratic mesh elements. And as you saw, we can calculate the exact solution using one quadratic element because the exact solution is you can see the exact solution here of our benchmark problem this is a quadratic equation so when we use quadratic mesh elements one element is enough so here you can see the electric potential and this is the electric field but now i want to investigate a more complex example actually we will do a, a small change in this problem in this problem the volume charge density is uniform inside the region right but now i am going to consider a non-uniform charge distribution and solve the problem so here you can see this example let's consider this charge distribution minus rho naught one minus x divided by d square so let's consider this charge distribution inside the region actually if we consider this charge distribution and solve the problem we can find that the electric potential analytic solution of electric potential is this equation 1.155 right so if we consider this charge distribution this is electric potential and as you can see here the power of this term is four right so this is a fourth order equation and if we use quadratic mesh elements we cannot indicate the exact solution with few mesh elements you can see the solution here for example this graph this is the exact solution and this is the finite element solution when we use two quadratic mesh elements so as you can see here we don't have exact match like as before because the solution function is a fourth order equation right and this is when we increase number of mesh elements as you can see when we increase number of mesh elements we can reduce the error area error and these two figures show the electric field when a number of elements is equal to two and when number of elements is equal to four so as you can see here in this graph this is the electric field for the exact solution but this is the electric field using the quadratic mesh elements right as you can see we have a discontinuity at boundary points of mesh elements right so the electric field 
for quadratic mesh elements are linear and we don't have a continuous function right so this is important and as you can see if we want to reduce the error in calculated electric field right we can define two errors one error is between the calculated electric potential and exact solution and another error is between the calculated electric field and the exact electric field that we have right so as you can see here the error is high why because charge distribution is not constant is not uniform and if we are going to reduce this error so you should increase number of mesh elements but again as you can see here we have discontinuity right so this is because of our formulation finite element formulation the first derivative of the solution variable is not continuous at boundary points of mesh elements but here as you can see the finite element solution for electric potential is continuous right so let's try this example in the ANSYS Maxwell software to check this is this is really important so in the software in our first example charge density this is minus rho naught in the ANSYS Maxwell software we can use intrinsic variables if I click on project variables intrinsic variables you can see the list of intrinsic variables for example x y and z that are components of the coordinate system so i want to define this charge distribution how i can do that here i multiply this by 1 minus x divided by 8 centimeter what was the value of d the value of d was equal 8 centimeter so to the power 2 and what is the coordinate system is global this variable is x component of the global coordinate system let me check again analytic solution the value of d right it is 8 centimeter so i can press ok so i have a non-uniform charge distribution and if I run the analysis setup, solution is in progress. So you can see the value of electric potential voltage, something like this. the value of electric potential this curve right this one and what about the electric field this is electric field and you can see this continuity here right we don't have a continuous function so you can count up number of mesh elements so if i plot mesh here you can see along the x-axis i have this is this is beautiful if i paste this here i have one two three and four 
elements along this x axis that I exported this graph. So you can see one element here, a discontinuity, one element, discontinuity, one element, and again discontinuity, one element here, right? So the ANSYS Maxwell software uses second order elements. So suppose this. If I set number of adaptive, uh, maximum number of adaptive passes equal to one, right? And press OK. So let's revert to initial mesh. OK. As you can see here, this is our initial mesh. And analyze. Solution completed. So if I click, this is electric potential. And this is electric field. We have two mesh elements and a discontinuity here. So you can see this result, right? You can see this result. So if you want to reduce this error, you should refine the mesh. Actually, you should set a higher number of adaptive passes here. For example, 10 or reduce this percent error, 0.1. So if I press OK and revert to initial mesh, analyze. So I want to refine this mesh more and more to reduce the error to calculate a fine value for electric field, right? So you can see this function and electric field here. So if I click on solution data, you can see the uh, number of adaptive paths, 10 triangles, total energy and energy error, right? So this is total energy and this is energy error. As you can see here, we have reduction in energy error in percentage. So if I consider, for example, 100 here and revert to initial mesh, analyze. So you can see we can reduce error within desired range. So solution completed. This is electric potential and electric field. Solution data, right. So you can see the process. We did 17 iterations, refinement, and this is the energy error. So when the energy error is below 0.1, as I specified it here, 0.1, the solver terminates the calculations, right? So you can see the solution process here. So also you can see the mesh statistics, number of mesh elements, and here is the solution mesh. You can see we have a fine mesh here and a coarse mesh here because a big variation in the value of electric field is here, right? So the curvature of electric field in this part is higher than this part. So this is the refined mesh. So this is really an important concept, right? When we don't have uniform charge density distribution, so we should set number of adaptive passes and percent error in such a way that we generate a smooth function for electric field. So now you know the reason, right? You know the reason. But for this example, if you use cubic elements, also you can converge faster, right? Because uh, if you use the cubic elements, 
you can indicate the exact solution with uh, a fewer elements. 